MIDI aux is definitely one of my favorite all-time MIDI utilities. Uh, probably the most important button to get started with is ensuring that your MIDI inputs and outputs are set to things that make sense. Also, I've got the MIDI yoke uh, virtual patch uh, driver installed in here, so that's what all that MIDI yoke means. Got uh, lots of different things we can do with this utility. This one is showing kind of our virtual patching arrangement. And uh, you'll notice that one of the sources here seems to be associated with the keyboard. And if we enable the keyboard right there, you can press keys directly on your computer's keyboard and generate MIDI events. You can hold hold down the note uh, when you or the key when you finally release it. You'll see it going off. Also, this monitor is showing you uh, how you can watch the status byte, the data bytes, and so on. And these all get interpreted as channel number, note number, events, and so on off to the, the right side. Now presently I've got this set up so that the output of MIDI aux goes directly to my sound card. Now what happens if I was working with something like a sequencer? Notice that we hear sound, but we don't see the MIDI events showing up inside MIDI aux. So to rectify that, what I'll do is, uh, at this point we don't need to worry about the input device too much. I just change that to MIDI yoke 2. But see how I presently have it set up to go directly to the sound card. So instead, I'm going to route the output of this application to MIDI yoke number 1. I'll do my close and restart. Neat. So again, you can see the uh, channel indicators, the note indicator, and the event types, and, and all that kind of thing going. You can even see the port activity as well. So that way you could go back through and find the uh, events that were generated and the delta times between them. And the little cancel symbol up there simply clears out the display. Let's take a look at another possibility. Supposing we had an existing MIDI file. This is being played on Winamp right now. Uh, again, similar situation where we don't actually see the um, MIDI stream showing up inside MIDI aux. Well, to take care of that, go to your control panel, choose your sound device, and specify that you'd like the output to go to something that MIDI aux can see, such as MIDI Yoke 1. All right, much better. Alright, MIDI AUX has lots of other capabilities beyond uh, what I have time to show you here. Uh, as I say, it's a really great utility. I encourage you to investigate the various other options that exist. I guess one other I'll, I'll point out, um, if you're wanting to kind of stick within the MIDI AUX environment when you're playing a standard MIDI file, that's pretty easy to do. You just use MIDI bar, select an appropriate value for the output, and then you can open a file and play it. Okay, give MIDI a try. It's great.